is enough and it's time for a change What's good everybody? Dilbert Blaze here. It's Saturday night, just getting home from work. And you know, wow, what a first week of work it has been. But more on that later on. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick little shout out to everyone out there because I haven't made a video in a while. But you know, life's been pretty busy for me. I've been working, well I'm going to be working seven straight days, which I haven't done in so long. So. Like today was actually like the last, well yesterday was the last day of training and so today was the first day I was actually like on, like doing my job and you know I was at a gallery today and on the sixth floor, they had me all the way on the top floor, I was doing my thing, you know, and it was like, it went, the day kind of dragged on, the day kind of dragged on and I'm just standing there, standing around, you know, letting me make sure people aren't, you know, messing with the art and trying to protect it as much as I can and I think I did a pretty good job at it. But I definitely need to get new shoes because the shoes I had on were killer. Like after three hours, my feet were in so much pain. And I'm not too good with shoes because I don't really wear shoes on a normal basis. So if anyone out there knows comfortable, really comfortable shoes, like rubber shoes or whatever, that's like really comfortable for the feet and for standing for hours and hours, let me know because I need all the help I can get. I mean, I'm so bad when it comes to like dressy clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I know what kind of gay guy am I, right? But uh, yeah, it was a, a pretty interesting week, you know. I actually had a bit of drama, like some crazy, crazy drama happening. That happened at my old job, actually. So it just shows you how small the security world is because people know each other from like different sites and jobs and everything. So let me tell you all what happened. So I get to the, the museum, the MoMA. And a supervisor there approaches me and tells me, um, he asked for my name, he knew who my name was, and he asked if I worked for the Downtown Alliance, which is my old job. So then he tells me that I used to work for his ex-wife. So apparently his ex-wife warned him I was going to be working at MoMA, and she also told him to fuck with me. Now, once he gave me that information, I'm thinking to myself, are you fucking serious? This crazy bitch wants him to fuck with me. What kind of shit is that? So he, he came at me and I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I got kind of paranoid, I got kind of nervous because on the other hand as well, you know, I don't plan on telling anyone there that I'm gay because at my old job, it was just a lot of hassle of me coming out like mad fast and then people, you know, treating me differently. So I figured, let them know who I am first and before they find out that I'm gay because I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to actually come out at this job. But you know, you start a new job, a clean slate, you want to just, you know, not have anyone talking about you. So I don't plan on knowing, telling anyone my personal business, basically. So I got nervous that this person told her ex-husband that I was gay. And if he, she did tell him, then that means, who knows, he might gossip about me that everyone's going to know about me. So I got really pissed off and tight. And I didn't know what to do because I was thinking to myself, should I go down there to confront her? Should I call my old boss and get her in trouble? And so, turns out that my sister that used to work there at MoMA is really good friends with the ex-husband. So uh, she called him, she talked, and then he found out that I was, you know, my, the, my, um, I was a little brother of my sister or whatever. And so then he came up to me and he goes, yeah, you know, don't sweat it. Don't worry. You have nothing to worry about. I'm not going to mess with you. I'm gonna, you know, look out, you know, I'm, you know, he, he just basically said really nice words to me that, to encourage me that he was gonna do what his ex-wife told him to do. So then that made me get a change of heart, and I thought to myself, how bad would it be of me to try to screw her over since she tried to screw me over? You know, two wrongs don't make a right. So, and on top of that, it's holiday season here, and she has like four kids or so, and I wouldn't want to see her get fired and then her kids will suffer so thankfully she should be thankful that I have a heart that I'm such a nice person that I'm not going to get her in trouble even though she is a pathetic human being so that problem aside 
other than that, it was an interesting week. You know, I'm working tomorrow, and I'm working Monday, and then I'm off Tuesday. So, two more days left, and I can finally enjoy an off day for the first time in seven or eight days. So, so far, so good. I'm still enjoying learning about the museum and and just speaking to different people about the artwork. It's just been pretty fantastic so far. But other than that, I uh, hate to go like quick and on topics here, but... Yeah, you know, wrestling was interesting this week. You know, they had the old school Raw, which I thought was pretty cool to see, like, the whole, you know, uh, WWF logo, the old logo, and the, the ropes being red, white, and blue, and the referees having the old shirts. But, you know, the legends themselves were just horrible to look at because they always showcase the same legends over and over again. You get bored of seeing these guys. So, other than that, SmackDown wasn't her. TNA, I gotta say, TNA reaction. I actually like that show a lot. I like to see the behind the scenes and watching Generation Me and Most of the Machine Guns having that kind of um, um, brawl in the in the in the empty arena was pretty cool to see. So other than that, yeah, wrestling's been iffy. I actually got um, Glory by Honor in the mail uh, yesterday, so I can't wait to watch that. From the from the last you know um, New York show, and I actually got Shimmer Volume 32, which I can't wait to see. So I'm got, I gotta get catch up on my wrestling DVDs there. But other than that, I'm cool. I'm chilling. I wish I could be going out having some fun, but you know now that I'm working the weekends now, I'm gonna have to cut back on the partying. So that's gonna be a little bit tough there. But you know it's all about making that money right now for me. So you know quick shout out to Fight Dog. I hope he's uh, feeling better. Uh, I know he's been under the weather the past week or so, so hope you're doing better, Bob. And also to anybody else out there who's been sending me messages and all, thank you all for the encouragement. Wish me luck on my new job, my new endeavors. So far, so good. Other than that little bump on the road I had there, but I got taken care of. So other than that, y'all, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'm going to go relax and chill. I need a break. Peace.